The ramjet engine is used in one of the most powerful and widely used missile of India which is BrahMos. The missile's ramjet engine requires a special type of liquid fuel that is being imported right now from Russia. As we all know, the DRDO is continuously working towards increasing the indigenous content of BrahMos missile. In the beginning, the percentage of indigenous content in BrahMos was 50%, but now it has reached to 78%. So on 22nd January 2024, the Times of India has reported that one of the lab of DRDO, which is DMSRD, that is Defense Material and Stores Research and Development, has made a landmark achievement by developing liquid ramjet fuel for advanced air breathing engine. This fuel will be used in missiles liquid ramjet engine and its testing has started. For the first time, it has been tested successfully at Ramjet Testbed at DRDL on 8 May 2024. BPCL and Mineral Oil Corporation Private Limited are the industry partner in this development. One of the major features of this fuel is that it will not freeze even in very low temperature ranging from minus 50 to minus 55 degrees. The application of this fuel is not only limited to BrahMos missile, but will also be used in the upcoming STAR missile of DRDO. STAR or supersonic target is the new missile being developed by DRDO's lab DRDL. It will primarily be used as supersonic target for testing various air-to-air -air and surface-to-air missiles. The most distinctive feature of this missile is that it's going to be powered by a liquid fuel ramjet engine just like BrahMos super cruise missile. The liquid fuel ramjet engine has inherent advantage of having higher endurance and range. The booster will be used to take the missile to a higher speed where ramjet engine can commence the ignition. Riding on success of BrahMos missile, STAR can pave way for developing smaller missiles and even larger missile based on the same technology. This seems to be an attempt by DRDO to build 100% indigenous missile and master the ramjet engine technology used in BrahMos. So there has been some reports of STAR undergoing wind tunnel test by DRDO at NAL's wind tunnel facility and the development of missile is expected to be complete by 2023-24 followed by trials. Now, this missile has huge potential and application for naval platforms. As we all know that the interception of supersonic missile from warship is very challenging. The STAR missile is planned to be used for training the naval defense system against latest anti-ship missiles such as MBDS Exocet. The second stage powered by a ramjet engine in STAR is capable of replicating the sea skimming flight characteristic of BrahMos missile. An anti-ship missile derived from a STAR missile is also a fair possibility. STAR can also be launched from aerial or ground platform. It can be used to train the air defense system of Army and Air Force against the interception of supersonic missiles. The missile can be launched from ground or ship using a catapult launch system and has a range between 55 to 175 kilometers. The missile has a RCS between 0.2 to 1.9 meters square, which will assist in training the air defense system in intercepting the targets with varying range. The reported shelf life of the missile is 10 years. STAR will have speed ranging from 1.8 to 2.5 Mach. Considering the fact that ramjet engine enables the missile to have higher endurance and range, the STAR technology can also be effectively used to develop an anti avox and anti-radiation missile. DRDO has planned to develop a version of STAR missile for LCA Tejas Mark 1A and Mark 2, which can be used for anti-AVOX and anti-radiation missile roles. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, 
do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector